Uh, we are standing outside of Pinckney Elementary School. It is one of two schools here in the Lawrence School District that will close for the final time on Wednesday. And let me tell you, it is the decision and the closing that is not very popular here in this part of town. Now, Broken Arrow is the other school that will be closing this week. That will close after Wednesday. Now, Pinckney has a lot of history in this area. The original school building was built more than 150 years ago. It's educated generations of families here in this area of Lawrence. The teachers say that when the doors close that final time, it's going to be the students and the families that they're going to miss the most. Kids are special. The kids and the families, they're special. I remember when I first moved here, someone said to me, you're going to love it there. You're going to fit in perfectly. And I was like, how can you fit in any place, one place better than any other place? And I fell in love with it. It's a welcoming place, a place I think we all rally around one another and we support one another. And um, it's just been a great place to raise my kids and help the students that are here. There was so much emotion inside of this building today. You could really feel it just walking through and watching the kids and watching the teachers as well. This was a decision that was fought, but in the end, the school district decided that they were going to make the move to close these two schools. And, you know, really at this point, there was nothing that could be done about it. And when it closes, trust me, there will be a lot of tears shed by the staff here because so many memories inside of this building. Reporting live from Lawrence, Dennis Evans, KBC 9 News. All right, Dennis, thank you. Students from Pigney and Broken Arrow will be divided between six different school districts.